Well, how are you doing, you little squid? Welcome back to another Yammy Noob video. I'm so glad to have you here. Thanks so much for joining me. It's another Weekends with Yam, and it appears you've caught me mid-ride. It looks like you've caught me just out here bopping around on the Street Scrambler, one of our giveaway motorcycles. So the title of today's video is how my riding has changed throughout the years. So I've been riding motorcycles for quite some time now, and I was thinking about this the other day where you know, my own riding has changed dramatically since I started riding motorcycles and it's trended towards a lot of different kinds of bikes and different kinds of riding. I've had the pleasure and privilege of owning and riding lots of different motorcycles and lots of different types of riding. And I've experimented and sampled just about every type of motorcycling that there is except for trials bikes. Um, I've never ridden a trials bike, but I think just about everything else I've done. So I've done obviously street riding, track days, racing and road racing, motocross, uh, off-road slash enduro, adventure riding. I've ridden damn near every kind of style of bike and, uh, you know, sampled everything. And it's been a really interesting journey. So today I wanted to walk you through how I kind of started and where I went and where I think I'm going with my riding next. I think it'd be kind of fun to talk about that. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a little cup of tea or something or some popcorn, whatever you indulge with uh, for our videos. And uh, let's get into it. So I started riding on a Yamaha R3. Um, I came from a sort of like fast boy motorsports kind of background. I, I've always enjoyed fast things with wheels as it were. I used to like cars a lot when I was younger. I kind of outgrew that a little bit. And uh, I knew that I wanted a fast sport bike, but I knew that I'd probably get hurt if I got something big, bad, and powerful at first. So I started sensibly, I started small on a 320cc uh, little R3. It was red, had a ton of fun at that motorcycle. It was really, really awesome. And it taught me a lot of the basics and fundamentals. And I, it's crazy, back when I started riding, I used to just jump on my R3 and go bop around city streets for hours, man. I used to go on my local twisties or go to a cafe or go get some lunch with people or I mean I'd, I'd find any and every excuse to just jump on my motorcycle and go for a ride and I'm sure many of you are like that right now with your motorcycles it's like any reason at all you will happily grab the keys and jump on the motorcycle so I did that for a long long time and then the next motorcycle that I got was actually my very first Daytona 675R so I jumped from a R3 to a Daytona 675R which was a big 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 jump I tripled my power output I was on a proper fast motorcycle, super sport machine, way overkill for the street in my opinion. Uh, it had Olin suspension, front and rear, quick shifter, 125-ish horsepower. Uh, it was a real rocket ship. And I loved just going out on the street and just going as fast as I could. And as many of you know, that got me in some trouble uh, with by way of speeding tickets and a couple crashes that I had. And I had to kind of learn the hard way that uh, going fast on the street is a foolish man's game. Uh, it's kind of like the saying goes, there's a lot of old riders, there's a lot of bold riders, there's not a lot of bold old riders. So take that for what you will. Uh, in the interim there, I also owned a uh, FZ09 as it was called back then. It wasn't an MT09 back then. I had an FZ09, a 2014. And uh, that was really fun. It was this kind of wheelie happy hooligan machine, triple cylinder. As you could tell back then, I really enjoyed doing things with three cylinders on the street and with speed. That was kind of like my main bag and that's what I liked doing. And I thought that's what motorcycling was to me. As time went on though, I started sampling more and more and more bikes and a lot of stuff started to change for me. Number one, I started doing track days and got into racing and I just realized that you know, it didn't make a lot of sense to try to go fast on the street. The track is really where you should be doing that. And so my riding kind of started to segment after that. I started realizing that, okay, I'd probably want some sort of track oriented or race oriented motorcycle to do that with, because I still have a very, very deep need for speed. Uh, it's always been there and it's still with me today uh, as I currently own a 675R that's prepped for racing. I still love going as fast as possible around a racetrack and I love the craft of it and I love all that. But my street riding started becoming something really different as the years went on. Slowly but surely I started noticing that, you know, when it came to the street, I wanted to be more upright and I wanted something torquey and fun. And so 
For me, I fell in love with the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled. I test rode a Scrambler many, many years ago, and I just loved the engine, the character of the bike, and then when I took the Desert Sled out for a test ride, I just knew it was the bike for me. I kind of got lucky in that it was a somewhat off-road oriented motorcycle because that started my off-road kind of journey with motorcycles as well. So for me, I started getting really into off-road riding, adventure riding with my Desert Sled. Uh, I did a bunch of big trips with it, went out to Mexico, Big Bend, New Mexico, any trails and cool little off-road segments that I could find, I would tackle with my Desert Sled. And I just started to really appreciate the fun of slow speeds on a motorcycle as opposed to just high speed. For me, I've realized that the adrenaline rush of riding a motorcycle doesn't always have to be going really, really fast. You can actually have a lot of adrenaline going really slowly on a motorcycle if you're under the right conditions, right? If you're fighting your way through some rut or you're smashing it through a trail, you're typically not going very fast, but there's generally a very significant amount of adrenaline that comes with riding off-road like that. And so I knew that I had this bug for off-road riding and my desert sled was a pretty good tool for the job. I had a lot of fun with that thing and I still do have a lot of fun with it because I still own it. But I then bought a KTM 250 SXF. It's a motocross bike and I started to get into motocross and jumping and wheeling and you know riding that thing around on trails too every now and then. And that was just an absolute blast. Such a lightweight, playful, interesting motorcycle to ride around and do stuff with and to train with. And honestly, God, motocross is one of the most fun things I've ever done. Nothing beats fighting for traction while you're on the gas on the rear wheel, you know, dancing the bike out of corners and just kind of, you know, laying into a big jump. It's just an absolute blast to ride motocross. And over the years, my riding has just become very segmented. And I know that's not the way for everybody, but at least for me, the bikes that I own are pretty specialized in what they do. Like I've got my race bike that's for my track day and racing, you know, CMRA and all that. I've got my dirt bike, which is for trails and motocross. It doesn't do trails that great. It's really hopped up to, to do trails on. It hates being at slow speeds. Um, and then I've got my Scrambler, which is my kind of you know, very comfortable street bike that I can just take out and have some fun with. And I feel very fortunate that I have a very balanced stable in that way. But yeah, for me, my riding just become a lot more segmented and I've realized that I wanted to go really deep on these specific avenues of riding. And to be honest, guys, you know, <laughs> between you and me and the other thousands of people who are watching this video, I barely ride on the street nowadays unless I'm filming for a video, kind of like this, uh, because it's easy for me to jump on one of our giveaway bikes, kind of show me riding it around and talking about stuff. And that's kind of all the street riding that I really do nowadays. I really spend a lot of my time on two wheels at the motocross track, at trails, at the track, at the racetrack, uh, in closed environments and closed conditions. And honestly, on my road bicycle a lot too. I, I feel like I ride my bicycle more than my motorcycle sometimes. And so it's just interesting how, you know, my brain seems to really crave some sort of novelty constantly with motorcycling. And whether it be through motocross or track days or racing, it seems like I'm always chasing some new novel feeling and wanting to get better at that. And, you know, street riding for me nowadays, especially, it just seems like you can't do much of anything. Like as someone who goes to motorcycling for thrill seeking, I think the street riding stuff doesn't make a lot of sense for me because the thrill seeking you get in the street is extremely dangerous. Now, I know that that's not that way for everyone. I know for a lot of folks, they like to jump on the bike as a de-stressing activity. They wanna just get on the bike, cruise, kind of go down the road. And that's totally fine. That My road bike is that for me. My road bicycle is my meditation chill time. Uh, I don't really get that from motorcycle. Motorcycle is much more of a high adrenaline activity for me. But yeah, it's just it's just changed so much. It's just crazy to think that, you know, if you told me six or seven years ago that I would, you know, out of a stable of bikes that includes a Ducati Panigale V2, an MV Agusta, you know, a Hayabusa, a race bike, all this stuff, that for the street, I would pretty much always pick the keys to this thing or my desert sled. These bikes that have like about 65, 70 horsepower, upright, kind of torquey, relaxed, that that's the bike I would often pick? I don't know, I wouldn't have believed you. And it's kind of funny, the other day I was at the office and Whitney, who helps us 
make, uh, you know, video and, and photo content. She asked me, she was like, I, I can't believe that the Desert Sled is, is your personal bike. Like, that's the bike that you've chosen to, to ride around on the daily. She's like, that doesn't seem like it would fit you. But at the same time, I think that if you only know me from the super sport and racetrack type of stuff, and you've never seen me ride motocross or off-road or trails or any of the other kind of riding that I do, then yeah, maybe it would be a little confusing. But I don't know, I, I've just come to appreciate so much of motorcycling. I've come to really take stock of what matters in motorcycling, you know, and what matters is, is the fun you're having, not so much as the speed you're going. It, what matters is the, the feelings that you get from the bike and the activities you're doing, the people you're with, the places you're with. And, you know, every bike has something a little bit different to offer. And it's so interesting to ride so many different motorcycles because you can start out of what category they're in, right? So same thing like the MT-09, you're like, okay, it's a high powered sport bike type of thing. But then you ride it and it's like, oh, this is so upright. It's almost like a supermoto. Why is it so comfortable? This could be a great touring bike, you know? So it's just fascinating to see what these machines can offer you and give you. I mean, the Scrambler is another example of that where you would look at it and you're like, oh, it's kind of like a neo retro cafe kind of cruisery thing. But it's such a fun, playful little bike. It's seriously such good fun to ride this thing around. And you would have never expected that if you had never ridden it, you know? So it's just awesome to see the world of motorcycling that has opened up to me in the past few years and how much more there is out there. And if you're watching this video and you've made it all the way to the end here, I highly encourage you to get out and try some different motorcycles and try some different kinds of riding that you haven't done before because you might find that you like it more than the riding you do now. I know for me, for example, if I had discovered motocross way earlier in my life, I don't really know that I would have gotten into anything else because it's easily one of the most fun things I've ever done on two wheels. There is nothing like jumping a bike or whipping it into a rut or a berm. It's so fun. And I just love the kind of laid back atmosphere that you see a lot of dirt bike tracks and people are just hanging out and having fun. It's so interesting how the hobby of motorcycling tends to evolve and change and warp over time. That's why it's a little hard for me to understand guys who, you know, they've had like one cruiser for 20 years and that's all they've ever known and done. I'm like, man, you're, you're missing out on so much awesome motorcycling that you could get into. But I know that not everyone takes it as seriously as I do. For some people, again, it's just a very simple, meditative type of thing. Some people just like owning the bikes too. Like, I don't even like riding them as much, which I think is a damn shame. But, you know, it's, it's a really interesting thing how so many people can have so many different experiences with motorcycles and they can offer so many different things to so many people. But yeah, I think that's gonna sum it up for today. That's how my riding's kind of changed over time. I feel like I went from this street squid to someone who, at least in my opinion, is able to appreciate lots of different types of bikes. Like we've got that Indian Scout in the garage right now. I think that thing's so cool. It's so fun to ride. But yeah, keep an open mind, ride a lot of different kinds of bikes and you might just surprise yourself. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Keep watching Yammy Noob. 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 Keep watching Yammy Noob.